am in my element right now. I just got here at about quarter after six in the morning. I left at five, so it took me an hour to drive what usually takes 20 minutes or half hour tops. And I'm here in the heart of Greek Town in Detroit, in downtown Detroit, thereabouts. It is a blizzard outside. It is gonna be probably maybe eight inches in Detroit. We'll say conservatively eight inches in Detroit. I'm here to document that. Finally getting to use this lens back from the dead, back from the brink. My 85 F2 brand new to me lens. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to use it. I've got my reflective coat on. It's my second favorite coat I own after my 70s coat. My favorite color used to be orange and so I love orange. Can you tell? <laughs> and thank you Mr. JM for this hat. I adore this this hat. It is classy and it is doing its job. And just in case I have in my pocket a lime green ski mask that I will hearken upon the use of should the necessity come upon me. I'm afraid this phone's gonna die very soon. Even though it's like at 100%, the cold tends to kill lithium batteries. So this may be a short vlog while a long shoot. So I may have to do some after the shoot narration over what I get. So this may be my last video clip of the day. Who knows? I'll try to keep this thing warm. No guarantees, fingers crossed. <laughs> Is that a Vulcan good luck? sign. Jokes aside, it is cold. I'm getting a wind rash right now or the beginnings of it. It's about maybe, I want to say 20 mile an hour winds, but we're going to get up to 40 mile an hour winds. I have a theme and a goal for today, neither of which I'm sure I'll be able to accomplish due to the weather. We'll see what happens. Either way, I'm going to try to shoot this lens and with this camera, Lord willing, as long as possible, ending up at 11 o'clock because then sleet's going to start and sleet's like freezing rain. And given last week, the, uh, the rain I experienced. I don't want to repeat what happened last week. Oh, by the way, that's the uh, National Theater. The oldest theater in Detroit from 1928, I want to say. I love that thing. Sadly, they're going to move it, but fortunately, they're not going to destroy it. Oh, boy, I'm getting wind whipped right now. I may have to go into ski mask mode soon. All right, on to shooting, or at least walking and getting whipped by the snow. Man, this is bad. Still cool pictures can happen in this scenario. I look like a robber, but I'm a, instead a photographer in inclement weather. I just met a couple of photographers. There's the one who's shooting Joe Lewis's fist over here. Now I'm getting a time lapse of the spirit of Detroit, sort of like the mascot of the city, because I saw, ah, uh, he finished though. I saw there's a guy going back and forth with the snow plow. I'm like, that's cool. I can get like the back and forth, but he just kept walking on. I'm getting a time lapse nonetheless, I guess, of the inclement weather with my 85 F2 Nikkor circa 1982 lens. Actually, hey, wait, where is he? He's coming back. Where is he in the shot? Okay, maybe he's not coming back. False alarm. <laughs> oh boy. I look silly. This is better than when I get home having a wind whipped face. Gotta prepare for the situation you're in. Man, so many beautiful shots to be had. Just one problem. Just like last week when I kept having to wipe the water off the lens, the snow is melting when it hits my camera. It makes the shots all bleary. And I saw this professional weather photographer and videographer shoots for the weather report. He kept putting a lens cap back on his lens and I did not bring mine today. I never bring mine. I have the filter over it, but I should have put the lens cap on. You know, you live, you learn. So this is your big tip of the day. <laughs> If you're gonna shoot in inclement weather, bring a lens cap and only take off the lens cap when you're about to take a shot, put it right back on. That might slow you down, but at least you won't get bleary shots like I'm getting today. All right, <laughs> back to shooting, back to getting cold and looking silly in the process. Something I've done many times. Where'd he go? There's that guy right there doing the snow plow job in front of uh, the Spirit of Detroit. I gave him my business card and said, hey, I'm getting a cool time lapse of you. Send me a message, I'll send it to you. Because you know, how often does someone get to have the beautiful experience of having what they do, their hard working class job documented so they can kind of enjoy it, you know? Here's the time lapse. Right there. <laughs> I forgot to snap my finger before. Oh boy, about the trip. And uh, yeah, I need to move on soon, but probably I'll wait till after this snowplow gent is done because it establishes this is Detroit, because Spirit of Detroit. It's snowing, snow on the ground, and it's so bad they have a car up on the sidewalk plowing it. That is my cool shot of the day. Also cool, Detroit people mover. Ooh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't look serious wearing this thing. I look like a bank robber. Hello and good morning. Today is Saturday, 
January the 18th, 2020. Anno Domini in the year of our Lord. This is your host and confidant, Ryan Ellis, coming at you live from Philip E. Hart plaza here at the edge of downtown Detroit. Behind the camera is a Detroit River from which Detroit gets its name. Detroit means the straight. It's a very straight river. And behind that is Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And in both Windsor, Ontario, Canada and Detroit, Michigan, US of A, it is blizzarding. <laughs> Blizzards do not respect borders. They strike indiscriminately, I tell you. Today, I was planning on shooting a themed video on giving back, but something I need more than the needy needs it is a nice lens cloth because my lens is covered in wetness because yes, as I said, it is blizzarding here. I suppose it's an open-ended theme today about shooting in the snow. Last week I shot in the rain, today I'm shooting in the snow. As I attempted, failed attempt last week, in the rain, this camera that's shooting me died, but it got brought back to life right here i put it in the rice as you do with water damaged smartphones mind you i covered it in cheesecloth so like rice wouldn't get into sensitive crevices and left it in there for just a day bismati rice for those who are curious if that happens to you too one day i pray it doesn't because it was a horror for me the next day i pull it out of the rice praise the lord <laughs> it was fixed it was fixed i tell you that lets me now be able to use the camera again it has 274,000 shots on it this camera's only rated at 200,000 shots i will be needing to get a new camera soon as soon as the shutter locks up which may happen today because it happened last week maybe my camera is telling me something like it's, it's time to move on until that time comes i will be shooting with it and today i will be shooting this lens on that camera the nikkor 85 f2 circa 1982 the only issue like i said <laughs> i need a lens cloth i have them in my bag if i keep using them they'll just get soggy maybe i'll just do that and eat the consequences bleary shots aside because <laughs> you know water on a lens makes everything kind of fuzzy hazy it is taking beautiful shots i'm only going to be here for a couple more hours because sleet is going to start and for those of you who don't live in the great white north or near it like i do sleet is basically freezing rain last week rain came this camera not quite freezing rain so i'm not going to take any chances in rain that is freezing <laughs> snow is one thing rain is another today is my 189th detroit street photography session since january of 2016 shooting street photography here in detroit as you can see at least evidenced by today and evidence if you watched last video by last week i'm like the postman <laughs> rain hail sleet or snow i tell you i'm coming out for all of them and seeing if i can take a great photo well I have yet to take a great photo today, but here's hoping for just that. I had a theme for today, but I'm going to maybe hold on to it for next week because just like last week, the rain was a story, a point of interest in and of itself. This week, the crazy blizzard is a story in and of itself. It took me an hour to get here. Usually takes me 20 minutes. I guess my only goal besides taking cool shots in the snow today is in my little satchel here in my camera bag i have three postcards it took me an hour to write them because i don't know i guess i take long to think my thoughts and put them on paper or on cardstock three postcards for four near and dear people in my life i'm gonna try to find an interesting post box and film myself putting the three postcards in there besides that i'm just gonna try to get some cool shots in the snow and leave before the sleet starts here's to that <laughs> forgive my silly ski mask get up i'd rather not have a wind whipped face. As I've said before, I'm a human first, a photographer second, and a lens reviewer third. Human first. Well, I gotta look after my Maslow's hierarchy of needs. <laughs> Safety. I'm a photographer second. Usually my intro shot, I use the lens I'm reviewing to get it, but I thought this is such an interesting phenomenon, this blizzard. I know we get a lot of blizzards here in Michigan, but this is the first of the decade, not just the year. I used this lens, my 24-2.8, my favorite lens to just kind of have as a general lens in street photography. And I'm a lens reviewer third, so yes, I will not forget to review. If I could just find it, where did I put it? This lens. I'm not sure if I'm still in focus, but the 85 F2 circa 1982. What a beaut. Getting covered in wetness after the snow falls on it, but beautiful lens. All right, well, off to shooting.
The only people I've seen out here today are fellow photographers. So I'm doing the Lord's work and taking portraits of them. Here's one I just met. That might be what I do today. That might be my service to the world. Other than that, I'm just not finding any cool pictures. This lens is hazing up. I'm trying my best. You can only do so much. My favorite building in all of Detroit. It is the moment of truth. The Guardian building is open. I've got my three postcards. I'm going to walk inside and mail them right now. All right, I just done did it. I mailed the three postcards, so maybe they'll arrive early next week because it's not a business day, it's a Saturday today. From here out, I'm gonna head probably up toward Midtown, toward City Center, and see what sites I may be able to sequester within the sensor and memory card of this fine Nikon camera with this fine Nikkor lens. We'll see. Woo! Am I dizzy or am I dizzy? <laughs> okay, I'm in downtown, headed toward Midtown, toward City Center. We'll see how far I can get. I'm just gonna see what cool shots I can find before it starts sleeting here in Detroit. I just mailed my three postcards. I'm feeling so happy about having done that. The snow kind of died down, or at least I'm between buildings and it's not so bad. I don't want to wear that creepy ski mask. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can just get away with my In God We Must hat. I'm doing a lot of free product placement right now. Ooh, speaking of orange, that could be a cool picture. I know it's been said a thousand times, gear doesn't matter, it's a photographer. I tell you what, good gear gives you such a boost of confidence, it lifts you up. Sort of like if you're a live performer, which I've been in my past musical performer, a fired up crowd brings the best out of you. Just like a gregarious group of ladies and gents cheering you on, or better yet, your family cheering you on, brings out the best in you. A good lens does a whole lot to lift you up and make you perhaps a better photographer than you've been in a while if not ever Gary I'm talking to you <laughs> I took off my haze filter and the haze was gone like scales falling from the eyes you know you think of Paul scales fell from his eyes when he got healed by Ananias from blindness after persecuting the Christians and killing Stephen the first martyr stoning Stephen it was like scales falling from my lens from my camera at long last I can get cool shots and I just have my microfiber cloth I just keep wiping it down and I'm good there's your tip of the day your second tip of the day <laughs> I'm just full of golden nuggets today can you tell I'm reinvigorated I'm gonna get some good shots today well attempt Lord willing in fact look at that there shot right there y'all <laughs> oh you just went inside right here in front of the Coney I thought I was just gonna get a shot of the building but I hear a guy going <laughs> <laughs> and so I run, I'm like, there's a happy person, probably bound to have a cool smile. And so I got some shots of the dude working at the Coney, and here are the shots. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> ah, boy. All right, I'm going to see if I can climb up on this snow drift and get this. But this, this lens is a little too long to get it, but I'll see what I can do. I might just be silly. We'll see. Snow drift shot. So I think I just took some iconic shots of that Coney Island and you can see them right here. Whew, almost slipped. I started with the 85 and as you can probably deduce, I ended with the 2428 because how can an 85 be that wide on its own? <laughs> I guess it needs a lot of calories, right? Well, none were provided in this case. I merely switched out the lens. Got some cool shots. Cool, I tell ya. Literally and figuratively. It's actually not too cold. The snow insulates. After all, you can build an igloo and be warm in there. Still headed toward Midtown from downtown. Gonna walk by my favorite gallery in all of the city, the David Klein Gallery. It's gonna actually be in a little while from now. They're not open till 11 and I think it's like 9 right now. The time's on my phone and I'm filming so having a blast. Got my 85 back on the front of the camera. Gonna see what rhapsodies I can capture. None Bahamian I tell you. This is the opposite of the Bahamas. This is a blizzard. <laughs> this is fun. Coming up toward the David Klein Gallery. <laughs> gonna see what is going on in there but they're probably not open today we shall see I think they have a new showing too I haven't been in a couple weeks just because of extenuating circumstances yeah they're definitely closed today and do they have a new showing 
they does and they do. So if you come to Detroit, give the David Klein some of your time. It'll be well worth it. I thought better of walking into Midtown because there's just a whole lot of nothing on the way up there and probably I'll find nothing when I get there. I'll turn back. I am unsure of it though because I, I kind of wish I'd gone there. Downtown usually has more people and that's where I'm walking toward right now. I'm in downtown. I'm still in downtown. I barely crossed into Midtown. Took some cool shots right here tried to get an interesting shot of the undriven snow down a certain walkway and there's a sign about a fire lane and i'm like snow and fire fire and snow i thought it was a nice dichotomy still looking for that iconic show where you are and what's happening picture slash time lapse that establishes this is in detroit and this is the weather we're getting i kind of already got it at the beginning of the day with that spirit of detroit time lapse i wish i had panned out a little more because a snow plow came by it just zoomed by in the time lapse you live you learn oh and here's the time lapse Ooh, ah, how beautiful. So I just took that neat time lapse. I gave my card to one of the workers. I've said this before, I'll say it again, and I'll say it again after this. One hallmark of Detroit, what it's known for, the murder capital. <laughs> okay, I know Baltimore is the murder capital now, Baltimore and Chicago, but Detroit and Flint, they've been up there before. Flint, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. You might think, oh, this is a scary city. There are parts that are definitely scary. The west side of Detroit, avoid. I'm on the east side right now. I say all that to say, this is the Midwest that we're in and people are friendly and you could stop and talk to just about anybody here obviously there are some people you could just see it written across their face see it in their demeanor and their body language they're not going to give you the time of day by and large a lot of people here are quite nice and quite helpful i can't stress it enough that this is a kind city give detroit a chance all i am saying <laughs> give detroit a chance that's all i'm saying just give detroit a chance I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay out here. Like I said, I might leave early. I'm more interested in the human element than the non-living <laughs> element. I wanna find portraits. I wanna get people shots. I'm a little dissatisfied with downtown. I'm not finding enough interesting people. Obviously, I'm not gonna go to Midtown because there's just even less people there. There's a famous quote. There's a man who at the time, while he was alive, he was known as being the most successful bank robber in American history. He had stolen the most money. He somehow got a a relatively light jail sentence, got out of jail, was a free man, became a spokesperson of all things for a bank, <laughs> talking about how secure that bank was and even I couldn't get into it or blah blah blah. That same gentleman was interviewed once and asked, hey so and so, I forget the guy's name, why do you rob banks? <laughs> and I love his answer. He said, because that's where all the money is. Right now, I'm headed up Gratiot Avenue because up Gratiot Avenue is Eastern Market, the largest continually running farmer's market outside of Mexico City in the Western Hemisphere. We'll see if there are people there. Certainly there will be vendors there. Perhaps not. Maybe they, it got snowed out and they all canceled. Why am I walking to Eastern Market? Me, the, the portrait photographer? Because that's where all the people are. Or I'm hoping, or else this is going to be a futile exercise. Right now it's about quarter to ten. I plan only to stay until 11, which means I I need to get back by 11 because there's going to be freezing rain starting right about that time and I do not want to kill my camera. I do not want to play in rain. <laughs> that is a lesson I have learned the hard way twice so far. Hopefully second time was the last time. Nathaless, I push onward and I'm going to head way down this street, Gratiot Avenue, to Eastern Market and see what shots I can get. Actually, now that I'm right here, I'm tergiversating. There's your word of the day. I'm tergiversating because I forgot down this street. Hey, Stevie Wonder. That reminds me, speaking of Stevie Wonder, I have a fantastic story about the same Mr. Wonderful himself on one of my earlier vlogs. Today is my, I believe, 17th vlog as a Motor City Lens man here in Detroit. My first 15, you can see, but it will cost you. <laughs> that sounds foreboding. I tell a story about this man right here, a fascinating story you will hear nowhere else, I guarantee you, on one of my earlier vlogs. And you can access that same vlog if you support me on patreon.com slash see Detroit like I do. I'm about to trip. I'm tripping. <laughs> I extol you to check out my Patreon. Like I said, my first 15 vlogs, truthfully told, three, four years worth of content that the world has never seen. <laughs> I'm 
here in Detroit's historic Eastern Market. And so far, it is a ghost town. All the outdoor stalls, as would be expected on a snowy day such as today, are closed. I'm hoping the indoor ones are open and looking around, hopefully in all the right places, so far in all the wrong places, looking for interesting faces in all the wrong places. So far today, so far so bad, but let's hope for the good. Well, in the absence of alternatives, this is my only option, taking a time lapse of this very geometrically pleasing <laughs> scene, hoping that cars drive through that little opening just to give it a sense of motion. Otherwise, it'll just look like a still image, even though it's gonna be turned into a video from a several still images. We'll see, sort of an experimental shot. Nothing interesting here to see, so I'm just gonna get this, maybe stop, say hi to a couple people, and head home. Hopefully, when I get home, I'll review the shots and see if today was worth it or not. Certainly went through a lot just to get to this point. Hoping for the best. Here's a time lapse right here. Ooh and ah. I'm gonna head home now. Well, it's a long walk from here. It's about 11 o'clock right now. Right on cue, the sleet started and it is pelting my face. At least I had an adventure today. Whether or not I took good shots. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the things I do, consider supporting me on patreon.com slash see Detroit like I do. This video goes out to the inimitable and marvelous Mr. J.M. Also, please check out my website, brand new website, still in the works, still under construction, but not unworthy of your eyeballs. www.motorcitylensman.com. <laughs> oh, how exciting is it to say that? Well, it's still snowing out here, but hey, you gotta make the best of what you're given in life. And I hope you do the same wherever and whenever you are that is watching, listening, whatevering this presentation. <laughs> so, all right, let me get back to shooting. Morning. How dare you? Unacceptable. <laughs>